What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a somewhat, you know, gloomy day here in Houston. But today's an exciting one because today I'm finally going to be able to do the radar install properly and get it working. Now, if you guys didn't watch one of my previous videos, I tried to do the radar installation using something called a mirror tap, uh, basically trying to see if we could tap into any type of power source from our overhead little sunroof area, on start area stuff. And it did not work. For some reason, the 2019s, it just didn't have the proper voltage or power or something for it to turn on and off and power the radar detectors. So luckily a Gen 5 DIY sells a harness and they barely came out with this maybe a couple months ago, but they do have a harness that will send power to the top, but it uses a source that's on the footwell in the passenger side. So it's a longer harness, but it does a trick and it keeps everything clean and tucked and away from all the exposed areas so you won't even see it and it'll look really well one and one good thing about that harness is that it's going to have an extra set of power leads power and ground wire so that i can add a dash cam later on if i need to to keep the dash cam with the battery or anything like that or any other accessory that you would like to put um, through the top and not have running power all the way down through the middle with a cord so let's get right to it and let me show you guys the harness and how it works. Okay, so this is the harness here guys. This is what you get. As you guys can see, it's going to be all plug and play. Uh, so you don't have to worry about splicing or anything. And they do have different variations of it. Um, I've gone ahead and got the one with the same power plug as my Valentine 1 radar. And they have an option of adding these extra leads here that you guys can see. And these basically are for trying to add power to anything else. Um, I could actually use those and my mirror tap uh, leads if I wanted to. If maybe you want to have two different radars or maybe like I mentioned earlier, dash cam. And of course you get your receipt which tells you to look for instructions on their website. They do have a video on YouTube and here is what I got guys. So it's a 2019 Camaro radar detector harness. And it's for all these RJ11 plugs, except for Uniden. If you have a Uniden, then you get that one with the extra leads. And it comes out at $60. So a little more expensive than the mirror taps. But unfortunately for us, with 2019 models is the only way we can go. Um, you could probably maybe get this made yourself. But for the ease of installation and just having this plug and play harness already set up, you can't beat that so let's go ahead and show you how it goes routed in the car and we'll hopefully have this thing up and running so up here what we want to do is kind of pop this thing off first because we're gonna need to wrap this cable around and have something so it could grip and then have it pop out so let me go ahead and pop this uh, thing off and show you guys what I mean okay so we've got it popped off and now you guys can see I have my fingers coming through and so what we want to do is there's a small little kind of cut out here where we can run and try to fish the, the wire in and so we're gonna go ahead and get our harness and try to fish it in and then probably try to wrap it around one of these like brackets here and then extend it out so it could come out on this end Okay, so see here we go guys we've got it fished in here so now I'm just gonna probably wrap this around I don't want to get into the way of any other harnesses but I'm gonna fish it and have it basically wrap around this frame here so that it basically is not gonna fall out and we can get this back through this side and hang out the bottom side all right guys so just like that you guys can see we've got the harness looped in through here and of course now this is snug and you can always just pull this in depending on how long you need the power to be and get 
you know the right length appropriate and that just hangs in there so that's it that's all we have to do here there's no plugs nothing that we do up here so now we can go ahead and grab this and pop it back in and that's it guys so now we've got our harness here with our power and basically we're going to be tapping into and teeing off down under here to the heater control module so what we want to do is go ahead and run our harness up along the headliner here and down the side so i'll show you guys how to do that right now so let me go ahead and move on over and get to the rest part all right guys so we're going to run this all up here try to tuck it in around this area and then down this weather seal stripping and then we're going to need to pop off this side panel here and try to fish the the, re the rest of the connector right behind here all right this is a cold startup in sport mode Because it's raining, I'm probably going to pull the car out and move it onto this side so we have access to the passenger side door. Um, Got to be working with the door open, and so we don't want to have it there, so let me move it on to this side. So here guys, when you're going through here, uh, basically what I'm doing is pushing it in as much as I can and then finishing it off with the slight little tug of this plastic tool to really get it to pop right in without having to remove any panels or any of that stuff. All right, so here we go. So it popped off the panel. And what you're gonna wanna try to do is run the power through this bottom piece here. So gotta kind of pull a little bit and see if we can get it to go through there. Um, Cause the ultimate goal is to get the harness. Actually, you can see it here where we wanna kind of feel, see my finger? There's extra, some space here where we can run that harness through. Okay guys, so as you can see, we've now kind of got the wire down through the bottom and way back here, down under here, you're going to see a green, brown, and then a black plug. And of course, if you guys see here, we've got the brown plugs. So those are the ones that we are going to want to tie into. So we're going to unplug that brown plug there and then put this harness in place and it should be good to go guys very very easy very simple and that should give us the power for our radar all right guys so there you have it everything's plugged in everything's tucked out out of the way now we just gotta put back our side panel and hope do some testing and see that it works okay guys so we've got our radar i'm gonna go ahead and mount it and I typically like to keep mine up out and away from everything. So I'm going to try to have it somewhere here where I can see. This kind of blocks my, the mirror kind of blocks my sight. So I might have it over here uh, as far up as I can. There you go. So it's out of my line of sight, but yet it's still high enough where it can get whatever is going behind me the mirror is not going to block it um, but basically now we plug in our harness on the back side okay there you go clipped in as you guys can see there we tuck up the wire it's nice and neat it's got a little bit of slack so now the moment of truth guys make sure this is powered on let's see if this works <laughs> there we go that is how you have to do your radar harness on a 2019 Camaro SS. Perfect. So now our radar is here. It's within reach. Makes it really easy to make it quiet or do what we got to do. And as soon as you turn it off, it turns off. It's super clean. You know, you don't have the power coming down and having to plug in here. Um, stays very clean out and away from everything and just makes it very very simple install and of course from the outside as you guys can see i mean the radar is barely even noticeable i mean it's right up here 
but you can barely tell and you don't have something crazy dangling down in the bottom anyways guys that is how you install or will need to install a radar harness on your 2019s if you guys have those for 2016s to 2018s there is a way for you to tap into the power on that overhead console for some reason on the 2019s it's not possible and it doesn't work so that is what we have to go with hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope those of you that have a 2019 unfortunately we do need to buy this harness and gen 5 diy this is where i got the harness from they did all their work and are able to provide us a plug and play solution that is going to be working properly and so thanks a lot to you guys uh, gen 5 diy and if you have a 2019 again that is what you have to do and i think it is worth every penny um definitely 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 check them out um but just like that guys this video is over and hopefully you guys know how to get your radar installed as well and if you're like me and every now and then like to have a little spirited driving you're definitely gonna want a radar so i'll see you guys in the next video